Hi, I'm Tim Studd. I'm the editor-in-chief of Laboratory Equipment Magazine, and we're at Lab Automation 2010 in Palm Springs. And we're at the Hamilton Robotics booth, and we're going to be talking with Rick, Rick Ludke about uh, new products that his uh, company is introducing at the show. Rick? Thanks, Tim. So, uh, so yeah, this is the Microlab Nimbus iProbe. This is our latest addition to our automated liquid handling portfolio. It's part of the Nimbus family. Actually, we launched the Nimbus 96 uh, one year ago. That had a 96-channel multi-pipetting head. This is, uh, this is our latest edition. It's called, like I said, the Nimbus iProbe. It has four independent channels. These are 1 ml channels that uh, have flexible spacing, independent, independent pipetting control, and um, also has integrated a labware gripper for integrating to third-party peripheral devices off the deck. And this particular configuration also has uh, a barcode scanner integrated onto it. And so how would this help your customers? What, what advantages would they get out of it? Well, this platform offers our customers flexibility, namely. Um, so because we have independent spacing on this platform, you can go from tubes to plates or plates to tubes. It also offers a compact size, so you can put it into a hood, a fume hood or an environmental hood. And it also, uh, obviously, it's a compact size, so it doesn't occupy a lot of bench space. Um, but what's, what's also interesting about this platform is that it uses the same pipetting technology as our larger platforms, our larger star line of automated liquid handlers. And so you get uh, compact size, flexibility, and uh, performance in a small, compact, price-efficient uh, uh, platform. Did it take your uh, designers and, and engineers uh, a lot of time and effort to overcome any challenges that were encountered in developing this? Well, I mean, there's always new challenges uh, for engineers and R&D uh, departments when you're developing a new platform. But, uh, but the good news is that Hamilton has a, has a long history of uh, expertise in liquid handling. And so we use that expertise and uh, parlay that into this new platform. But, uh, but yeah, there were some, there were some challenges um, just, uh, just actually, you know, fitting it all in a compact footprint. Um, I suppose was one of the biggest challenges and, uh, and just making that work and like I said uh, being able to maintain that same performance that we have on our on our larger platforms. Okay. Are there any specific applications that would benefit from this uh, a little bit more than others? Sure. Yeah there's a number of applications that would that would benefit from this. Um, because we have the independent spacing um, it's very flexible for plate reformatting applications um, going into tubes, going into plates, um, but uh, but the 1 ml channel capability is good for uh, for you know serial dilutions. Um, but something that I didn't mention was, in addition to the 1 ml channels, we can also integrate 5 ml independent channels on this platform. So that offers you a broad dynamic range um, from 50 microliters all the way up to 5,000 microliters. So for large applications uh, or applications that require large volumes like um, um, cell culture maintenance, cell feeding, uh, solid phase extraction that requires large volumes. So that's, uh, that would be uh, um, um, you know, very amenable on this type of a platform. Okay. And you're, you're uh, producing this and shipping it now or, or in the future? Uh, right now this is the first, uh, the first showing, the first public showing here at Lab Automation. Um, so it's not in production yet. Um, the plan is for us to release this, do a formal commercial release about uh, May, June, uh, sometime late spring, early summer time frame of 2010. And ship at that time. And ship at that time, yeah. We've had uh, a lot of interest at the show here. We're front and center at the, the main entrance here to the exhibit hall, and so we've got a lot of attention, and uh, so we're looking forward to, uh, to launching this thing in a few months.